Kellogg's, the greatest name in cereals, presents... Wild Bill Hickok! Hi, you folks, hold on to your hats and pass those Kellogg sugar pops. Because here comes Guy Madison as Wild Bill Hickok and his pal Jingles, which is me, Andy Devine. We got another rootin' tootin' Wild Bill Hickok adventure story for you. From the cereal you can eat out of the bowl or out of the box, the cereal with the sweetening already on it, Kellogg's Sugar Pops! Today, Kellogg's Sugar Pops, the cereal with the sweetening already on it, brings you Wild Bill Hickok. Transcribed in Hollywood and starring Guy Madison as Wild Bill and Andy Devine as his pal Jingles. In just 30 seconds, you'll hear the exciting story, The Red River Mutiny. <laughs> Partners, just any time at all that you get hungry, that's the time to enjoy Kellogg's Sugar Corn Pops. Kellogg's Sugar Pops, you see, are a super delicious snack. A snack that can be eaten directly out of the bowl with milk or cream, or a handful at a time right out of the box. Take it from me, sugar corn pops are super delicious both ways, because you don't need any sugar. The sweetening's already on them. Better have Mom lasso a couple of boxes of Kellogg's sugar pops the very next time she's shopping. Now, let's listen to our story for today. <laughs> An ominous black cloud was spreading over the western plains that winter afternoon. United States Marshal Wild Bill Hickok and his saddle partner Jingles had decided to make camp early. A blacker cloud of weird adventure was waiting for the two lawmen, as vicious as the impending storm. Bill had gone to stake out the horses while Jingles squared away the campsite. Then suddenly, out of the thunder rolled the Red River Mutiny. Keeping Bill so long. Should have been back by now. This storm's gonna break any minute. And oh, oh, why don't he hurry up, dog? Got it. Now, what's that? Why ain't shooting? Bill! Bill! Hey, that's a wagon heading right this way. Blimey, a porpoise, Captain, off the port bow. I said, what's going on here? We got him, Hook. Oh, oh, oh. Keep him covered, Dick. Hey, you can't come barging into my camp this way. Dick, a sea monster. Who, me? Yeah, you. You stick your nose into this and you'll have so many holes in your hull you'll never float again. Now, doggone it. Bill! Hey, look, what's going on? Blimey, another buckskin beaver. Look out, Bill. The big one's got a gun. Yeah, and I'll use it, too. Oh, oh. Holy me, bucko. You shot the gun from his hand. Now, you swabs, the tables are turned. Run for it, Hook. We'll get you yet, Captain. And you can lay to that. They're getting away, Bill. Let them go, partner. We don't know what this is all about. Well, I sure wish I did. I never seen so much commotion in two minutes in my whole life. Who are they, Jingle? How should I know? Them two just come storming up out of a thunderclap in that wagon and those two other Jaspers riding them down, shooting them and then... Hold it, partner. Them. Hold it. Here come these other two gents. Well, don't they look funny. <laughs> look at those get-ups, Bill, would you? <laughs> hey, they look like sailors. <laughs> and right you are, me bucko. Sailors we are. And much obliged to you for standing off those parts. Now, just who are you, mister? And, and what's this all Hold about? Hold it, Jingles. My name's Howe, Captain Elias Howe, master of the China Queen, clipper out of San Francisco. This is my first mate, Mr. Smile. Well, howdy, I'm Jingles. You blooming porpoise. Now, just a minute. Never mind, Jingles. Well. My name's Hickok, Captain. Can't help wondering what the fight was about. I'm in a cross-country voyage from owners, Mr. Hickok. Mr. Smythe and I were set upon by those murdering thieves. More than that, I can't say. Come on, Mr. Smythe. Keep your eye on that Mr. Smythe thing. That little funny talking hop toad. Why, Bill? I saw him slip a package to one of those men that got away. Well, what's it mean, Bill? I don't know, partner. 
We don't even know which pair of these gents is on the side of the law. There's something mighty strange about this. Partners in the range country eating a nourishing breakfast chuck full of vitamins and food energy is mighty important. That's why real honest-to-goodness cowboys like Wild Bill and Jingles really go for Kellogg's Sugar Corn Pops. Kellogg's Sugar Pops, you see, have all the whole corn values of the B and D vitamins, plus plenty of pure food energy for active, grown fellers like yourself. And something else you know about Kellogg's Sugar Pops. It's the two-way cereal, because you can eat Sugar Pops out of the bowl with milk or cream, or out of the box like a delicious snack. Never any sugar to add to Kellogg's Sugar Pops, as sweetenings already on them. They're popped with sugar. That's why they're called Sugar Pops. So saddle your Mustang and start a stampede for Kellogg's Sugar Corn Pops. Delicious. Now let's sing our song. Yippee! Sugar Pops. They're sugar-coated, taste so sweet. Just pour on some milk. Oh boy, they're neat. Kellogg's Sugar Corn Pops. Sugar Pops are tops. Now Sugar Pops, you know, are sweet. But cowboys know there's an extra treat. Right out of the box, take a handful out. Pop them into your mouth as you run about. Kellogg's Sugar Corn Pops. Sugar Pops are tops. Kellogg's Sugar Pops, the honest-to-goodness cowboy cereal with a sweetening already on it. Kellogg's Sugar Corn Pops. <laughs> With a strange mystery dropped right in their laps, while Bill Hickok and Jingles were keeping their eyes on Captain Howe and his first mate, Mr. Smythe, waiting for development. Now, doggone it, it's raining harder, Bill. Yeah, it's a good thing you got this shelter rig, Jingles. Might ask Captain Howe and Mr. Smythe to come in out of the wet. Oh, let them drown. Hey, look, Bill. That little porcupine Smythe is pounding rope into the cracks of their wagon. Looks like it, all right. Oh, ain't that the silliest thing you ever saw? Hey, Smythe, how do you expect the rain to run out of that wagon if you stop up all the cracks? I'll take you to mind your own business, you big wild. You're <laughs> wrong, matey. Mr. Smythe is caulking the hull. All seafaring men are careful to keep their hulls caulked. Got to be seaworthy. Eh, don't make much sense to me. Captain Howe, I'd like to have a little talk with you, if you don't mind. Hmm? Well, those men who tried to rob you, robberies against the law, and I'm United States Marshal in this territory. Oh, he's a blooming horse policeman, he is. He's Wild Bill Hickok, that's who he is, and I'm his deputy. Pipe down, Smythe. All right, Hickok, if you're the Marshal, I'll talk to you. You might be able to help me with that. What's the story? It's quickly told, Marshal. My ship, the China Queen, lies at anchor off San Francisco, ready to sail. But there's a blasted gang of sharpsters holding her for non-payment of a small debt for refitting. Well, why don't you pay the bill? We've tried. My oh. owners have, but, but failed. They sent me to St. Louis, our main office, to give me a bank draft and legal papers for release of the ship. If I don't get them through in ten days by telegraph or by hand, they'll take my ship. Well, telegraph wires are down on account of the floods. I know that, matey. And those raiders that attacked Noah, too. They're trying to steal the papers. You still have them? Sure. Then you still have a chance. The telegraph is through to San Francisco from the far bank of the Red River, just ten miles from here. Uh, then maybe there is a chance after all. Hey, if you could ride along to help us fight off those blasted swabs. Are you sure you still have the papers? Yeah, right here in my ditty box in the wagon. Just a minute. Uh, he blast their eyes. Blast them, I say. Now what's the matter? He's just discovered he didn't have the papers after all. Hickok, they're gone. My papers are gone. Those bilge rats took them. Well, we'll have to beat them to the telegraph. Do they know the country? Uh, I don't doubt but what they do, the dirty scum. Then we'd better be on our way. They'll head for the telegraph, too. Well, the rain's let up, but the Red River will be crowding the top of the banks, Bill. Then how'll we make the crossing? There's a ferry, if we're lucky. But if those two raiders who took your papers get there first, they'll take the ferry and leave us stranded. And they got a head start. Then let's get underway. <laughs> Curse the luck of that gunman. Yeah. Well, he almost blew my hand off. Stow it, Dirk. 
Haul out the packet Mr. Smythe slipped me and let's see what's in it. Yeah, here it is. Yeah, more light to read by now if the rain stopped. Yeah, a bank draft and authority of the court for release. It's all here, Hook. All but the body of the captain to show. You're right there, matey. And if he crosses my bow again, he'll get the lead from my rifle and no mistake this time. That for your rifle. Next time I get close enough to that captain, it's my hook he'll get. Like this. <laughs> Put that hook away, you give me the creeps. It'll do in a man quicker than a bullet, and you can lay to that. Come on, let's set a course for the Red River. I know there's a blasted telegraph station somewhere west of there. We got a report that we fouled the captain's anchor in spite of his newfound friends. <laughs> Making good time, Jingles. Yeah, Bill. Reckon those two other galoots are waiting to ambush us? Yeah, they are. This is a great country, boy. Yeah, more trees and rocks than they got in Colorado. How far is the ferry landing? Just over the next ride. You better ride up close to the wagon and keep an eye on Mr. Smile. That slippery little sidewinder. Notice the way he keeps touching that wicked-looking knife in his belt? I sure do, partner, and I don't trust him. You go on ahead. I'll keep back here to be ready for an ambush. Okay, Bill. Hi, get up, Joker. Just keep pushing that prairie scooter along, gents. We're almost there. We're making very well now, sir. Why, oh, you'll do us no good, Captain. Hook and Jerk will be over the Red River long since. Oh, don't talk so much, you little weasel, and keep those horses stretching. Hey, the pirates again. Bill, it's an ambush. Hi, but so high. Yeah, Jingles, up ahead on top of that rise. At least we know where they are. Blimey. No! No, no, keep them going. Watch out, you little salamander! You jackknife that wagon! Look out! Man the boats! We're captured! Smythe, you little weasel, you did that on purpose. Now, Captain, I'm going to finish you. Jingles, he's after the captain with a knife. Doggone it, one thing at a time. I'll get Smythe, you grab the horse. You keep away from me, you got... You, Smythe, you double-crosser. I'll take that knife, mister. You'll tuck it in your ribs, you blooming horse policeman. <clears throat> now, now, drop it. it. Oh, you're breaking me arm. Drop that knife, I said. All right, all right. That's better. I'll just keep this so you won't be tempted again. Smythe, you little Bill's rat. So you're siding with those pirates, are you? Oh, batting your ass, you big porpoise. You big... Hold Why, it, Captain, little... hold it. Time enough to take care of Smythe. Right now, yeah. we've got to get this wagon righted and move on. All right, now. Everybody on this side of the wagon and heave ho! You ready, Jingles? Yeah, Bill. Now, everybody, up she goes. Get the lifting. Smythe! Get to work in there or I'll stomp you to China. Oh, hey. Now we're making it. There she goes. That's it. Now climb back in there, Smythe. You too, Captain. We've right. still got to beat those Jaspers to the ferry. Steady, Buckshot. In the saddle, Jingles. Uh, you don't stand a chance and you know it. Uh, Bill, they quit shooting, that's for sure. Well, let's see if I can draw the fire. Well, no answer, Bill. That means we've got a real race on our hands. Let's ride. Get that wagon moving, Smythe. Straight ahead to the river. Here, Keep here. your guns ready, Jingles. Hi, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> Did you see that Smythe turn their wagon over, Hook? Aye, he's a smart one, he is. And treacherous, too. Look, ahead, Hook. The river... How do we make a crossing? Use your eyes, man. There's a ferry boat. And only one old man aboard her. And only one boat. Yeah. Only one boat. I'll make quick work of the old man. We've won the toss, Hook. The China Queen will be ours, keel to Skysel. Come on, shake a leg. We'll commandeer that scow and leave them others stranded high and dry. Past her now. Bill, there they go out in the river. Blast their eyes, they beat us. I told you they would. 
Who do you think will be owning the blinking China Queen now, Captain? You little wharf rat, you double-crossing beggar, you did it. He sure did, Captain. Bill saw him slip your papers to one of them parts during the fight, didn't you, Bill? That's right, Captain. <laughs> Smythe, I'll kill you for that. Hold it, Captain. The law will take care of Smythe. Yeah, but that ain't getting them papers back or catching those sneaking coyotes out there in the river, Bill. No, no, and you can't. Nobody can swim to catch them. My China Queen will fly the Jolly Roger now. Now, wait a minute. Maybe not, Captain. Don't give up your ship yet. There just might be a slim chance after all. You know, partners, a cowboy's life isn't all roping and riding. They got other things to do, too. Things like mending fences and digging post holes. Sometimes they even have to help around the cook shack. But helping around the cook shack is one chore most cowboys love to do, because it means getting all they want to eat of those delicious tasting Kellogg's sugar corn pops. They eat them for breakfast in a bowl with milk or cream, and then they snack on them by the handful all afternoon. Either way, Kellogg's sugar corn pops are delicious tasting because the sweetening's already on them. They're morsels of corn popped with sugar. That's why they're called sugar pops. Never add sugar to Kellogg's sugar pops. Just pour them in a bowl and add milk or cream or eat them just as they come from the box for a snack. And now let's all sing our sugar corn pop song. Yippee! Sugar pops. They're sugar-coated, taste so sweet. Just pour on some milk. Oh, boy, they're neat. Kellogg's sugar corn pops. Sugar pops are tops. Now sugar pops, you know, are sweet. But cowboys know there's an extra treat. Right out of the box, take a handful out. Pop them into your mouth as you run about. Kellogg's sugar corn pops. Sugar pops are tops. Remember, partners, stake out your claim to several boxes of Kellogg's sugar corn pops first chance you get, because they don't stay on your grocer's shelf long, that's for sure. <laughs> Wild Bill and Jingles, with Captain Howe and the treacherous Smythe in the wagon, pulled up to the bank of the swollen Red River too late. The villainous raiders, Dirk and Hook, were already out in midstream on the only ferry boat. The captain thought all was lost, but Bill said there still might be one slim chance. What do you mean a chance, Bill? We ain't got no more chance of catching those varmints than a puppy has a whip and a pants. Don't give up yet, Jingles. Captain. Yeah, Hickok? You had Smythe cogging the cracks in your wagon. Is it watertight? Yeah, by gum, she won't leak so much as the sweat on your brow. The canvas cover will make a sail, and the wind's at our backs. Oh, well, what are you getting at, Bill? He's as daft as a flying fish in a water spout, he is. Oh, shut up, you little weasel. If Bill's got an idea, it's a good one. We can sail the wagon and swim the horses. They haven't got us licked yet, Jingles, but we're going to have to work fast. You're smart in a fox in a chicken yard. Who'd ever thought of sailing the wind? By the great horn spoon, she's as trim a little craft as ever touched water. <laughs> yeah. Look, Bill, them varmints on that ferry boat ain't touched the other bank yet. You'll never catch them. Now, doggone it, I'm getting real put out with you, Smythe. I'm liable to wrap you up and throw Why, you... you big whale, you'll do nothing. I'll carve you up for bait, I will. Bill, he, he's grabbed your knife. Watch him, Jingles. He's coming for you. You carve nothing, you little Gila monster. That'll take care of him. Easy now, partner. Will I offer me a big eye view? woo Now I reckon the fight's gone out of that little mutt. Tie him up just the same, partner. Then check your guns. You're going to need them when we get to the other side. Yeah, look, Bill. Hey, we're gaining on them sidewinders in that ferry boat. They just got the current of the river, and uh, we're packing the sail. Aye, but the blasted pirates are almost ashore. They'll beat us to that telegraph station yet. Look, there they go. They've made it. Blast their eyes. Just keep sailing for that tall pine on shore, Captain. Nobody's ever whipped until they give up. Safe landing, Hickok. 
Good work, Captain. All right, quick, Jingles. Pile out and get the horses. There's no time for loading. All right, come on, Joker. Here you are, Buckshot. You have a good swim, boys. I'll hear they come, Bill. We'll head for the telegraph office, Captain. You can come on behind. Hi, right, Hickok. I'll be there. Ready, Buckshot. Enter the saddle, Jingles. Leave Smythe tied up there, Captain. We'll come back for him later. All right, that's what I'll do. Ready, Jingles? You said it. Well, let's go. Hi, Buckshot. Hi. Jump, Joker. You heard what Bill said. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah, there's two horses tied to the hitching rack outside. Those Jaspers are inside, all right. Yeah, and probably sending that message right now. Oh, come on, we'll get closer. We'll leave the horses here. Stand there, Buckshot. All right, let's go. Quiet now, Jingles. Yeah, here, here, Bill. Here's an open window. You heard me, old walrus. Send that message and be quick about it. Yeah, if you don't, you'll be feeling this hook. Yeah, where'd you two gents come from? Never mind that. Send that message and be sure it's right. I can read those dots and dashes. All right. You don't have to be so ornery about it. I'm starting to send it right now. Bill, we can't let him send that message. You're right, partner. Hey, what are you going to do? <laughs> Bill, you shot the wire in two. Ain't no message going west of San Francisco on that. Look out, Jingles. Here they come. Hey, who shot that hook? Look, it's them. Blast them down. And we got their guns, Bill. Yeah, you big whale, but you haven't got us. Get him there. They still got some fight left, Jingles. And it's going to be some downright fun to take it out of them. Yeah, big boy. Oh, well, I got this one, Bill. Now, mister, I'm going to sit on you. Get off of me. Help, Dirk. Now, you meddling land lover, I'm going to... No. <laughs> well, we well, reckon we ought to wake him up and ask him what he was going to do, Bill. We can wake him up when we get all three of them to jail, boy. You've got the sneaking wharf rats, Hickok. Did they send the message to San Francisco? Not quite, Captain. We got here just in time. Hey, Bill, look. Something's sticking out of that Jasper's coat pocket. Looks like a wallet. It's the packet I had my papers in. Let me see that. That's the thing I saw Smythe give to this Jasper. It's my papers. The China Queen is safe. Hickok, you've saved my ship and my life. A dirty scum. You'd never have done it alone, and you can lay to that. Shut up, or I'll bounce some more up the daisy. Oh, get off of me. No, stop. Oh. Let him up, Jingles. Let him up. We'll go around up Smythe and take them all to jail. But my message to San Francisco. We'll get the agent to splice that wire together and send that message right away, Captain. Uh, it was a fair wind that brought you across my bow, Hickok. You and this big partner of yours. Win nothing. It was a doggone storm, and you know it. <laughs> now you'll both have to come on to San Francisco with me and make a voyage on the China Queen. Well, that's right nice of you, Captain. How would you like to go to sea, Jingles? Huh? Hey, now, that might be a real fine adventure, Bill. Just think we could sail to China and... Get me one of those fancy silk shirts with the red and green dragons all over it. <laughs> and some firecrackers. <laughs> and now, here are the stars of Wild Bill Hickok, Guy Madison and Andy Devine. That's all for today, folks. We'll be with you again on Friday. Yes, sir. And we're going to tell you about a cute little fella named Elmer Ellington who stirs up more trouble than a hornet's nest. It's called the Tinker's Revenge. Meanwhile, Andy and I hope you'll remember to ask Mom to get a big package of the cereal with the sweetening already on it, Kellogg Sugar Pop. In the bright yellow packages with the picture of Guy and me right on the front. Eat them out of a bowl for breakfast or right out of the box as a snack. Either way, you don't need sugar. Andy and I think sugar pops are great, huh, Andy? You bet we do. So long, kids. See you Friday. <laughs> Kellogg's, the greatest name in cereals, has brought you another exciting story of Wild Bill Hickok, starring Guy Madison and Andy Devine in person. Today's cast included Lou Merrill, Fred Howard, Paul Fries, Fred Shields, and Jack Moyles. Our director is Paul Pierce, story by Larry Hayes, music by Dick O'Rant. This is a David Heyer production transcribed in Hollywood. Now, this is Charlie Lyon speaking for Kellogg's, the greatest name in cereals. Reminding you to listen again on Friday, same time, same station, 
when Kellogg's Rice Krispies presents Wild Bill Hickok in The Tinker's Revenge. Revenge. 